Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my recent experience with you. I went on a raw food challenge in June. So let me tell you what happened. So first of all, this challenge was from Jeanette from Misfit Vegan. She's been raw for about 13 years now and she's just glowing. So it was a free challenge and I jumped into it right away. Basically, I had to eat raw fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. I must say that it was a challenge from the very beginning only because later on I was feeling pretty good and it became very easy to eat just raw. The biggest challenge for me was to make sure I had enough food in the house. So I had to do a few more trips to the store until I got the hang of it. I decided to do it because it is summer here in the northern hemisphere and that means we have an abundance of all kinds of fruits and vegetables and they are ripe and delicious so it wasn't gonna be that hard to stick to the plan okay i did it before a few times already so i kind of knew what to expect and it was confirmed again and again that raw food diet is the most healing diet there is. Now, let me go back a little bit. Last time I did eat all raw was a few months ago and then I decided it's okay to eat some cooked food here and there and that turned into a lot of cooked food. And then one day my family and I went to a restaurant which surprisingly had a lot of vegan options. So many vegan dishes that I had to try, but that turned out to be a huge mistake because as you know, vegan doesn't always mean healthy and, and I ate some not so healthy food. I ate some fried food like spring, spring rolls, rolls and, and things, things like that. Like that. that. So a few hours after that, I got a problem. I got some ear ringing again, which went on for a few days and would not stop. It was going on during the day. It was going on during the night. Unless, of course, I fall asleep. I don't hear anything. <laughs> but when I wake up, I can feel it buzzing again. So if you ever had that problem before, you would understand how crazy and how horrible this makes you feel. So. I decided I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm going to go right then and there. I'm going to jump into the eating only raw food diet. And it just happened that Jeanette from Misfit Vegan was posting this raw food challenge for 30 days in June. And I decided to jump right on it and I'm not going to wait anymore. And this is my sign. I have to go ahead and do my raw food challenge again. <laughs> so I started my raw food challenge by eating a lot of fruits and greens and my ear ringing it went away on the second day guys i could not believe it it was i was so relieved and calm it was like a miracle and i know for sure that it is not a coincidence because i had a similar situation before the whole ear ringing situation stopped after i was eating only raw so yes i gotta give it to the power of raw natural foods and on a side note no i did not eat all organic i ate some but mostly it was conventional so the healing of my ear ringing problem gave me a huge motivation to continue eating fully raw and i did and i lost some weight not a lot i lost about seven pounds but i wasn't really planning on losing a lot of weight I mostly wanted to heal this problem. So I did not follow any calorie restriction program. I ate until I was full and until I was satiated. So far, I only saw positives, guys. I gained my energy back. I stopped falling asleep during the middle of the day and I slept for only six hours during that time, which usually is not enough for me, but I was a bit busy at the time and I had to be up by 5 a.m. every day so without enough sleep my energy levels were still normal i felt fine as long as i ate enough i was fine so it was challenging sometimes to make a salad a lot of times i mostly ate a whole bunch of leaves with some lemon juice and just fruits but i knew it wasn't gonna cut it for a long term <laughs> because i like different kind of dishes i like to be creative in the kitchen and i really enjoy my meals so i knew i had to do something so i decided to do meal preps and it was a game changer for me i became more creative with my food and it wasn't boring and it was always delicious i loved it every day i loved being raw so i feel like this time i will continue being mostly raw even after the challenge is over i just have to prioritize it because i really love it and i love how i feel so after about six weeks of eating only raw 
I made my favorite soup for my family, my beet soup, also known as borscht. If you know Russian, this is called borscht. So I had to give myself a bowl of that soup and I ate every bit of it and I enjoyed it. And I was okay, no problem. It was a very healthy soup. It is completely plant-based. There is no oil or any junk and I felt good. And the next day I moved on to eating raw again and it felt normal so right now what i'm planning to do i'm planning to eat mostly raw but if for some reason i decide to have something cooked i'm not gonna eat any fried or junky stuff i'm gonna eat i'm gonna stick only to the healthy options and i'm only gonna have it once in a while or if i go out or something like that but otherwise I'm just gonna stick to being raw and let's see what happens. You know, the funny thing is that I barely ate anything fried at all anyway. And I guess my body just got used to eating cleaner that it really freaked out when I ate some fried spring rolls. Well, lesson learned. Okay, as you can see here, my overall experience was really positive. Jeanette's community was very helpful and so many amazing and inspiring people cheering each other on this journey. And that was awesome. So thank you so much, Jeanette. And if you guys don't know her, go ahead and check it out, her channel. I'm gonna leave it in the description below. My health right now is just at the next level. I do not want to stop. My main motivation was my health. Now I do see so many other positives beyond that. I feel happier, calmer, and so creative, and so excited about life. And I'm almost 45. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't matter. The food tastes really, really amazing. It's not boring, guys, at all. And my energy levels are through the roof and my brain fog is gone. I don't feel lazy. I don't feel like I need a nap after the afternoon meal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I love finding out and trying new recipes, new ingredients. It's really amazing. Eating raw is so easy. If you never try, they just try by eating one meal a day for 30 days and then try to switch into two meals for 30 days and then try 30 days only 30 days you don't have to be raw for life but try 30 days just eating raw food and see how you feel i will tell you you will feel amazing it's it's absolutely life-changing experience so I hope you are inspired and I hope you stay healthy. And if you need any help, you can always reach out to me. All my information is in the description below. You can always leave a comment under this video. I really love reading your comments, guys. So don't be shy, just leave them down below. And if you're interested to see what happened to me when I went raw for 90 days, you can watch this video right here next. I'll see you there.